the top. Supporting tissues in plants. Um, the main supporting tissues in plants. Uh, now, generally, before we actually talk about supporting tissues in plants, we must now be able to understand that generally, uh, skeletons can uh, perform the following functions. One, they can give us protection. All right. Like I told you about the skull, skeletons too, in some cases, can help to manufacture red blood cells. Yes, your bones manufacture red blood cells. Okay. Then, apart from ability to manufacture red blood cells, skeletons can also um, so give us support. Skeletons allow movement of parts of our body. Okay. They allow movement. You can run around and so on and so forth. So, we have been able to look at the importance of skeleton generally. So, let's see whether the skeletons in plants perform the same functions or at least similar functions as those in animals. Well, every supporting tissue, I mean, every uh, um, supporting tissue helps to make the, the organism rigid and provide adequate protection and support. Now, for the plants, the supporting tissues in plants are mainly cholenchyma, parenchyma, sclerenchyma, and the wood. I repeat, the main supporting tissues in plants are the cholenchyma, Parenchyma, sclerenchyma, and the wood xylem. Now, there's an illustration on the on the on the, the, the diagram here, the screen, to show the main supporting tissues in plants. Now, before then, I think I have to be able to uh, look at the, the, the breakdown in the stem and the roots. We said that the plant is made up of the following parts. First, we have the epidermis. Because it won't be uh, uh, advisable uh, to talk about...